we're Lauren and Craig, and we're traveling around North America in our self-converted camper van. Craig's the designated driver, while I'm the trip planner and navigator. This is Ruby, our home on wheels for the next six months. And this bloody legend is Roland the rowboat. We love hiking and wildlife, so most of our time is spent at national parks and exploring the wilderness. This is our final video from our six month road trip through North America and we're about to head to a very remote region on the west coast of Canada. We're heading to the Great Bear Rainforest to witness the grizzly bears feeding on the salmon run. The only way to get there from Vancouver Island is by a 10 hour ferry and it cost us a whopping $700. Luckily it was a very scenic trip and we managed to see humpbacks, seals and otters and towards the end of the journey the sea all turned a milky blue colour from the melting glaciers in the surrounding mountains. We timed our trip here for late August because this is the best time to see the grizzly bears coming down to the rivers and feeding on the salmon. As soon as we arrived, we stretched our legs on a little walk to a waterfall and found a place to camp for the night. We heard some bad news from the locals. Apparently the salmon run wasn't looking good this year, which would mean there also wouldn't be many grizzlies around. Feeling a little deflated, we drove up the road and stopped by a river so we could fill up our solar shower. That plan was quickly aborted when we discovered the river was full of dead salmon. Okay, we're not gonna get water from here because it's full. I don't know if you can see them, but there's dead fish. The salmon have all spawned and then I guess, I hope they've spawned and then they've died. And the other ones are, oh, you can see them swimming there. They're huge. So yeah, it smells of rotten fish. So not very nice water to fill up for a shower. So we will leave it and fill up in a tap somewhere that we find later. But there were still salmon swimming up river, which was a great sign. So we stayed optimistic. We pulled up by a river and waited there all day for a grizzly bear to turn up. And finally it happened. we witnessed this grizzly bear running up and down the river, splashing like mad trying to catch these salmon. We watched this bear catch multiple fish and the blood from the salmon was smeared across his face. Another spot we discovered to watch the grizzlies was this large meadow where they'd walk across to access the river. We've just found a, a thermometer cups and then a lone bear over here which is quite rare to see in the same There are four types of salmon that come to spawn in these rivers. We'd already witnessed the end of the chum run, but we wanted to see the pinks and the chinooks which were due any day now, and the grizzlies were waiting for them. So we headed up the valley to a different river where this run is due to arrive. Throughout the days we'd see different bears walking along the river banks, and they were searching desperately for the fish to come up the river. We also witnessed the bears swimming and snorkeling in the water, which we've never seen before. It paid off for one bear and we watched him dive down and get a dead salmon off the riverbed.
watching the little cubs following their mums was absolutely adorable. We ended up spending a week in this area and we'd sit on the riverbank and wait all day for a bear to walk by. There were usually a few people at the viewing platform and sometimes a grizzly bear would creep up from behind us so we had to constantly keep an eye out for that. It was a pretty crazy situation to be in and my heart would be pounding like mad but we would carefully group together with the people, talk calmly to the bear and make sure we've moved out of the way so it can access the river. I'm not sure if it's due to the lack of hunting infrastructure or there not being many humans around, but the bears in this area are not known as being very aggressive. And compared to areas like the Rockies, there's been very few bear attacks here, and they've mainly been from mums trying to protect their cubs. We always made sure we had our bear spray on us, even when going to the toilet. He knows we're here. You're not coming out the water there. The salmon should be here already, but they still haven't arrived and some of the grizzly mums are looking extremely hungry and skinny. Many of the tourists that come to this area go on float trips down the river to see the grizzly bears and seeing as we have our own boat, we decided to take Roland out on the river. We didn't particularly want to see a bear while in our very flimsy boat. We were more doing it for the scenic trip. But as we went around a bend of the river, we saw two local lads floating in tubes and suddenly a grizzly bear approaching from behind them. He's right behind you. Just don't move fast, slowly. The bear was very graceful and just continued walking along the riverbank. Our 10 days spent in the Great Bear Rainforest were probably the highlight of our six month road trip, but now it's time to head back to reality. We didn't want to pay another $700 for a ferry ride, so the only other way to get out of this small valley is by road, and it's a 500 kilometer drive to the nearest main town. The first 60 kilometers of the road are gravel, and it's up a mountain pass with 18% grades, sheer drops, and no guardrails. kilometers later. Oh, that feels good. Once we arrived at the main town, it was time to put Ruby the camper van up for sale and make our way back to Vancouver. Before we reached the hectic traffic of Vancouver, we stopped at this beautiful lake for a day of swimming and relaxing. Last supper, Ruby has got a deposit down on her. Joking. <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> For our final few days in the country, we based ourselves in Ikea, which became our second home while we were trying to sell the camper van. And we found a lovely British couple who's taking her off our hands. As soon as we sold Ruby, we headed straight to the airport and tried to find the cheapest ticket to either Colombia or Chile for our next adventure.